This is uh, Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com and today's tutorial is in 3D Studio Max 9 I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic landscape okay so first off what we want to do is click on plane drag that out into the viewport so we've got a nice big plane here uh, make sure that you've got 25 width and length segments okay right now what you want to do is uh, go up to your modify panel okay click on the modify here and click on displace okay make sure that the um, image bitmap is set to none and the map is set to smoke or noise okay either one it makes no difference but uh, I'm gonna go for let's have a look I'm gonna go for noise for this one okay right now what you want to do is uh, raise up the strength slightly okay if I just zoom in you'll notice that it's slightly um, changing here okay now if I just um, get to a good perspective of this um, you really can't see it too well at the moment but there are, there are actually some small bumps in this raise it as much as you want and as you can see the higher you raise it the more um, rocky it gets so you end up with a, quite a big um, mountain peak terrain sort of thing. Um, now, obviously, it's looking quite out of place sort of thing. So you can uh, you can add more segments to it if you wish. Um, if I render that, you'll see what we come back with now. So quite rocky. So uh, you can have um, yeah, a mountain um, range, or you can just uh, lower this down and have like an uneven surface like grass. Okay. So we'll just keep it about that for the moment. Um, quite um, bumpy there so um, now what we want to do is try and add some textures to it okay so what we do is uh, press M to bring up our materials click on uh, an empty sphere here okay uh, click on this button here which is the diffuse button uh, bitmap and somewhere in your um, max folder you should have your material libraries Okay, so if you go through there and you find the right one, which I believe is ground, yep, it is. Um, click change the, uh, the view to thumbnail so we can get a good view of what we've got. And I'm going to choose grass. Okay, open. And I'm going to apply it to the plane. View it in the viewport. Um, let's just render this out to see how clear it looks. And there you would go. We have some uh, grass there, and it looks quite good. However, a way to uh, make it look a little bit better is to change the tiling a little bit. If you add more to it, I'd say about 2.5 and by 2.5. Now we render this out, and then see what we uh, come back with then. Okay. As you can see, it looks a little bit better, right? And uh, yeah, like I say, there's there's more than one way to do this. If I just re rotate this round a bit more, um, I can add a noise modifier as well. So if I click on noise, so if I change the strength to 2.0, and then change this to minus 2.0, and then change this to minus 1.5, you can see that it gives it even more of a of a uneven shape so if I just pan this round a bit more you can see here that it looks quite um, quite bumpy and um, so you can use it with the noise uh, modifier the displace modifier or you can use them both together it's entirely up to you um, like I say it's, it's very very easy to do and if I just render this out again just to uh, get a good view of it uh, where are we that's not the right one there we go there you go, you've got yourself quite a nice um, terrain there, you see. You know, but obviously a terrain doesn't look very, very well without a, um, a sky, so we can add a sky to this now. So if I just um, reset the position, now what I'm going to do is create a sphere. So I'll better zoom right out here as well because I need a lot of room for this. Okay, sphere. Right, let's move that into place. So it's over there. Okay, now we can do the hemisphere button, which basically cuts off a lot of the sphere. So you basically got a um, 
half sphere. Okay, let's move that down slightly so it goes just below the terrain. Go up to our modifier list here and then we want to find a normal modifier. Okay, now this basically um, makes it viewable on the inside of the sphere, you see. Okay, now we go up to uh, modifiers again and we apply a uh, UVW map to it as well and we select spherical. Right, okay. Um, go, going back to our sphere, we can add a few more segments if you want. I'll, I'll just add 60. Okay, gives it a bit more um, of a rounded shape to it. Okay, right, now we go into our um, material uh, library here. So we can either click on this or press M. Click, select uh, an empty slot here. Um, then what we do is click on this diffuse button here and choose a gradient. Okay, now the top one here, we're going to click it and we're going to choose a dark dark blue. Okay, so I'd say that one there. Okay, the middle one is another blue, but we're going to make this a little bit lighter. So that's looking good. And finally, for the bottom one, is going to be a light blue. Right. Let's just get this right. That's it. Now that's the uh, the free color gradient made. And then we apply it to the sphere. Okay, so if I just apply that, we now have a uh, a sky. So if I just pull this down a bit more, okay. And if you want to, this is uh, completely optional. You can pan right out, um, and you can change the scale of the sphere to make it um, longer like this, um, and then you can pull it down a lot easier. And if we just render this out, this is what we come back with. There you go. You've got yourself a nice uh, landscape complete with uh, with sky. Now, if you think that your landscape is a bit sort of uh, bumpy um, with with sharp edges, because um, the, the peaks of the um, of the mounds can be quite sharp and they don't look very very good, what you can do to change this is uh, select your landscape here. Um, what you can do is go to your modifier list and select Turbo Smooth. Now what this does is basically smooths the edges of the uh, landscape so it doesn't have quite a sharp point to it. And you can change this, uh, if you, right, if you um, click on 1, 2, 3, the more of these the more smoother it is. However, the more of these you put in, um, the more um, time it takes to render out. It really does slow the render time down. Okay, So you've got to watch out for that. Now if I just uh, change the angle of this and zoom out in a big empty space. So what you can do to make uh, more of a landscape is uh, select your um, ground uh, and click clone copy and then you can just drag this over to the left here and there you go and you can just keep doing this clone until um, your whole ground is covered with um, with this. Uh, so you don't just have the one um, down there so if, if I just try and zoom in to it over here. Okay, and for the final little detail here, we're going to add a um, a bit of fog. So go to your rendering, uh, environment, okay, effects, add. Uh, what you want to find here is volume fog here. Okay, All right. Let's go through the effects here. Uh, let's move down. Uh, make sure that exponential is selected here. Okay. Make sure that the background is selected here. Okay and um, you just really want to fiddle around with all these to your heart's content but make sure that the, uh, the density here is set between 5 and 10 so I'm going to go for 7 okay with that now obviously um, this is just a quick example but um, you may need to change that to suit your own but um, yeah like I say add some fog to it um, just change around with the settings until it looks uh, good enough for you and uh, yeah that's basically the uh, the tutorial so uh, yeah my name's Dave from video-fx-universe.com please visit the site new tutorials coming out all the time uh, log on to the forum and I will speak to you soon bye